Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. Welcome back! First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video, where we are going to review an amazing plugin called Ads Pro. Ads Pro is an incredible plugin that will help you to sell, create and manage your ads from WordPress. So if you are ready, let's start! So let's open up our laptops and start the revision of this plugin. As I said before, today we are going to review the ad manager that allows us to sell and create ads on our WordPress website with various templates. So uh, here is their website and some examples of templates that are displayed. The payment methods, PayPal, Stripe, etc. Now let's go to our WordPress website page, activate the plugin and after we activate it, we can see the menu. On the first menu, we can see the statistics, how many uh, places ads uh, we have and how many clicks and sales we do have now. Here it can print a list depending on ads and uh, there is an ad related to affiliates. Now let's start from the very, very beginning and for that, click over here to add a new space and type, for example, test space. Then we have billing models, and those are required fields. Uh, for example, let's type two cost per mile bills, cost per day, I know, for example, four. Over here, let's type 10, here 25, and here 100 then 25, 50, and 90 accordingly. This is just a sample numbers. If we need to do a discount, we can do it here. For example, the second contract offer a 10% discount. You can, of course, change the number if you want to, or do not offer discount at all. And on the live preview, it will show us how it will look. And now let's leave it as it is and review the templates. Here, for example, we can see how many of them are available. Also choose the size we need to and customize the width and height. But besides, now let's choose Facebook one and when the ad is ready, there will be the image, title, link and description. It says what kind of display type we will have. For example, we can choose randomly or statically. Then we can decide which one uh, you want to display um, or just leave it as it is. Here we can choose how many items should be displayed in one row. Here are also animation options available. Uh, we can for example add certain animation and let's just pick this one. We also have more options over here, for example shown specific devices such as mobile or tablet. Also, there is an option of um, after how many seconds the ad will be shown and displayed and the same goes with the close button. For example, let's set it again for and in 4 seconds the X will be displayed. Uh, we can also choose on what custom taxonomies, pages or posts the ads should or should not be displayed. The same goes with the uh, show for specific categories or tags and with the showing or hiding certain buttons. We can also control the uh, countries such as we can choose specific ads that will be displayed or hidden in specific countries. Here we have fields such as zip code, country, region, and some other fields that we can fill out over here. In the customization, we can add Google Fonts, write the font family name, and paste the URL of it over here. Then we can customize those texts. Afterward, we have to click on Save Space, and it will show space saved. Now let's go to our spaces and ads. It just got added as you can see and we need to integrate an ad within it. For that, go here and click on add new ad. Then fill out the email. 
Uh, there is a title, um, then you have to choose the space we just created. And here you have to choose the billing model and cost per click. We have click limits options, for example 25 or 100. Also we have limits per view and per day as well. Let's for example set 25 clicks and with the live preview we can see how our ad is going to look. Let's find the text, uh, for example a bit longer description um, that does not extend the limit of 80 words. Uh, we can add a link over here so that when users click they will be redirected to a page we want them to. We can also choose an image from our media library or just paste the link to the image uh, that we want to display. Let's just go to our media library from here and choose the image, let's say this one. Again, we can see more options and here is the schedule option. We can schedule our ad and choose the day of start and the end. We have our current server time over here in the settings, then go to general and here is the time zones. We can also add a limit from here to decide what countries will be able to review the ad. So this is it. Let's save it and the ad just got added. Now let's go to our spaces and ads, uh, refresh the page and we can see the ad we just created. And now in order to display it somewhere in the front end, we have to copy the shortcut over here. And Let's say to go to post and paste it somewhere in it. For example, let's choose this. Let's go to this and paste it. Then we have to click on update the post. And now we can preview. And as you can see, we saw the animation and the ad got added to the place where we pasted the shortcut, which is basically what we were aiming for. Now we are aware of the custom sizes and schedule times and here we can also add certain tasks such as choosing a certain action, e.g. how many times it should be repeated and once again scheduling it. Here we can compare two ads in terms of their main metrics and statistics. It will display everything in order for us to grab a better idea on what is going on and we can also give a few ads for free for the users. For example, choose a user from here and our user will get an opportunity to place one free ad. If we go to lists, uh, we will see that the user now has the opportunity for the free ad. Uh, in the translations, we can see that all the text can be translated to our desired language in the public or dashboard and then they will be displayed on our WordPress website. And now, let's take a look at the settings menu. Of course, in order to activate the license, uh, paste the code. Now, what's concerning the sales of the ads? Uh, for that, we need to generate a certain form. And for that, we can use this short code. For example, let's copy it and paste it in a random post. Just publish it. Now, the front-end users who will want to buy the ad they can choose the ad they want to buy, fill out email and actions, here they will see the prices available. The prices we set at first while creating the spaces, remember this 25, 100, etc. Here they will see the Stripe, PayPal, other payment options, we can add a secret key and publish the key. And fill out the bank transfer details, of course. If we see WooCommerce there, uh, then or we want to use WooCommerce, then we need to integrate this with WooCommerce. Uh, for example, here we will copy the link to the form and paste it. It will be displayed in the dollars, so you can choose where whether the icon uh, will be displayed um, before the number or after the number. It is connected to there, so a uh, user the user will come to click on pay now, fill out all the fields and then we'll be able to buy the ad. If we need to update our ads pro, we need to choose the reinstallation tab where we can choose what data we need to save or delete. 
And here, we can also display ads every other paragraph. For example, showing ads before content. We'll paste this, this here. Uh, choose the ID of 5, let's say. And bring all of it to here. Just click on refresh. Now, in all the posts where we have content from the very beginning, we will see the ad before the content. We can also control how many paragraphs the ad should be displayed. Uh, let's customize a few options over here. Now, let's click on save and go here. We have ads at the beginning, second and at the end of the text. Uh, we also can integrate body press. And after each activation, it works the same way as the hook. We have over 20 activities here. Also, we will press uh, in here. We can choose after each topic in the form what ad to display. And we have limit to 15 ads to display. And same goes with the replies. There are notifications uh, that will send reminder emails to clients and expire accordingly. So you can set after how many clicks it will be done, click per day, etc. In the admin, we can choose the affiliate's user ID. Users can edit ads in front or back end. Choose the option where the user can do it. We can also disable the preview for HTML ads and hide it from all logged in users. Uh, EG as a user, we can see it now, but if we log in as a guest, I can see it right away. Let's check it out. We can also turn off this and add a nofollow attribute to all the links. For example, now it is yes, let's click over here and go check it out. Now you can see that nofollow attribute is added. We have example add in the empty ad space. There is also optimize all images, we can crop the images, uh, optimize CSS into one, change the default yes to no, choose the custom types here or just leave it as it is. And this one is the max kilobytes that users can have from the front end. We can add our custom CSS or custom JavaScript from here as well. And we have affiliate program and marketing. But we need certain add-ons to be able to use this. And at the end, just click on save the changes. So guys, that was it. That was all I wanted to tell you. And if you like this video, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also check out the description down below to find the link to this amazing plugin. See you in the next video. Bye!